Um, we, I, you've had a lot of success lately with using biocidin. So tell people a little bit about what biocidin is in, in particular. Okay, so biocidin it is a botanical that has multiple herbs in it that actually works on getting rid of different pathogens such as bacteria, parasites, and yeast. So it's very, very powerful. So it's something that we use in a very, very low dose and then we work up as people can tolerate it because believe it or not, the die off of those pathogens can actually cause worsening of symptoms or more symptoms than they're already having. So we always try to start small so that we don't overwhelm somebody and make them feel terrible. And biocidin is nothing more than, as she said, a botanical. It's got things like uh, tea tree and shiitake mushroom and um, gosh, what are other things in it? Plant tannins. Mm -hmm. um, Wood. It, it, yeah, it's a mixture of several different things. And another reason we like it is because the company has actually published research, white papers, on their product and it shows that it eradicates biofilms. A lot of people have never heard of biofilms and I think it's still kind of a new phenomenon even in functional medicine and not fully understood by the scientific community. But the way I like to look at biofilms is I like to compare it to the, the biofilms or plaque that's on your teeth. So that's a well-known phenomenon that every dentist knows of. You can brush and floss your teeth twice a day every day but you still have to go to the dentist every six months for them to scrape that plaque off. Well, that plaque is nothing more than a biofilm. It's an accumulation of bacteria, fungus, and the calcium in your saliva to form a fortress that is irremovable with, with brushing and flossing. And so that's how tough these biofilms can be. Now, luckily, we don't have any teeth in our guts, or at least I, I don't have any teeth in my guts. So the, the biofilms are not as hard to eradicate as it is from a tooth, but that's where biocidin comes in. They actually have white paper proving that it can disrupt the biofilm and kill some of the bacteria, fungus, and, and um, other parasites that contribute to that biofilm, and then you can restore your own microbiome. And then once you have a healthy microbiome, even if you fall off the bandwagon, your, your microbiome gets a lot more uh, resilient, and it's easier to retain there, I just added a sixth R. Did you hear that? Resilient. 